across some robbers. It is Christmas Eve and Hubert has been sent to a small town for an errand for his barber. Little does he know that he's about to get caught in the middle of some robber's scheme. Will Hubert manage to save the day or will the robbers succeed in their nasty plan? Find out now in Alison Chaplin's Crime Doesn't Pay. The journey home was much spookier than dark. The Vale of Blackmoor was a large, lonely place full of winding paths and crooked lanes. Oh, what a mistake I made! What a virgin did a mistake I made! No, I have been running away by a sailor that did it all. You join us on this cold English morning in November. 1940. Oi, get in the cab, love! Yes, this is a hotel. A room? I should think so. Single or double? Mr. Uh, Smith? Did you say Smith? We haven't got a room for you. Yes, I know it's out of season, but we fill up fast at the end of October. Oh, yes, Miss Smith. Yes? Aha! Most unfortunate. I hope you will accept our sincere apologies. No room reserved for you. Nonsense. I booked them for Jones and Friend. But not for Miss Smith. But my name's only a word, a, a sound. Smith. Ugh. I mean, it's just what this place needs. A new village hall. Did you pass the old one on your way here? You probably did. Was that the building on the... Yeah, just along the lane there. I mean, frankly, it's an eyesore. It was put up during the war, all corrugated iron. If you're holding a meeting and it rains, you might as well save your breath. How do you do? God and God's forth. So nice of you to come. Sorry I wasn't there to meet you. Been having a bit of a guy roll crisis. No, Matron, but the thing is, I can feel it moving and I'm scared, you see. Quite natural. I'm scared I'm going to love it. And what kind of love is that, Mary? What kind? The kind of love that takes? Or the kind that gives? Just love. <laughs> 